In this video lesson, we are going to learn that how to convert a given for loop into a while loop. So before attempting this question, we must be familiar with the syntax of the while loop. As we know, in case of while loop, the initialization of the variables is done prior to the while loop and along with while we only have to put the testing expression, testing condition and the updation part is within the body of the while loop. So let us try to solve the question here. How to, how, how to start it? We have three variables so we shall be declaring these variables here as they are. We have three variables A, B and C and all the variables are of data type integer. Here five value is being assigned to A. So we shall write A equals to five as it is. Ten is being assigned to B. So we shall write B equals to ten. Okay. Now in the for loop here we have initialization part for initialization then we have the testing expression testing condition if this condition is true then the set of statements that are within these braces they are to be executed once the execution is done then the control is to be transferred back to the updation part after making some updation it will again check for this condition and if uh, this condition is again true it will follow the same path and so on unless and until this condition becomes false okay so first of all in case of for loop we have initialization part so if we are converting this for loop into while loop what we have to do is we have to write all the statements initialization statements prior to the while loop so I shall write here we shall write here c equals to 1 okay then this condition testing expression is to be put along with the while loop so while c is less than or equal to 10 now we have the body of the for loop we have to write all the statements which are within the body of the for loop as they are so that is system dot out dot print and uh, what we have to print is a plus b plus c a plus b plus c and we have if c mod 2 equals to equals to 0 then we have a plus plus means if this condition becomes true then a plus plus and b plus plus as given okay the initial initialization of the variables is done to the pri uh, done prior to the while loop with the help of this statement the testing expression is given along with the while loop here that is c is less than or equal to 10 all the statements which were the part of your for loop they are put under the while loop under its body now what uh, now we are left with the updation part so this updation part that is c plus equals to 3 that will be put here within the body of the while loop so we shall write here c plus equals to 3 arithmetic assignment operator okay so the execution of this for loop uh, this while loop is as first of all three variables are declared then we have 5 and 10 values are being assigned to a and b respectively then uh, 1 is being assigned to c variable then it will check for this condition c is less than or equal to 10 
if it is true then we have the set of statements it will check for c mod 2 equals to equals to 0 if it is true then these two statements will be executed now as we are using c as the counter variable means with the help of c we are checking it that the how that how many times the while loop is to be executed so this optician part that will be put somewhere and uh, most probably as the last statement of the while loop so it will increment the value of the c by 3 then it will go to the testing expression and so on so while converting the for loop into while loop we have to be very careful that the sequence of all the statements is not disturbed that is initialization first of all as in case of for loop we have initialization first of all so we have we have initialized the variable to one then we have the testing expression we have written here testing expression when all the statements of the for loop they are executed then in case of for loop that uh, control is transferred to the updation part so updation part has to be put as the last statement in case of while loop so that's how we convert we can convert a given for loop into while loop in the next video lesson we shall learn that how to convert a given while loop into a for loop very simple